but I do want to talk a little bit about um, what you found in terms of uh, the rate of ownership of some of the more controversial firearms and accessories out there, um, because you, you, this was also part of the study. Um, you know, uh, modern sporting rifles, assault weapons, whatever you want to call them, AR-15s and AK-47s, in other words, um, uh, as well as magazines that hold more than 10 rounds that uh, uh, these are often the targets of uh, bans in, you know, deep blue areas, California, Massachusetts, New York. Um, and so you asked how common it is for people to own these, uh, which is obviously a pretty relevant thing, especially uh, in our new legal atmosphere the, since the Supreme Court's Bruin ruling. Right. Where that, you know, how common, uh, a, a, really since Heller, how common a, a gun is or accessory is um, matters quite a lot to whether or not it's protected by the Second Amendment. Yeah, and this, this is something that kind of surprised me uh, just a few years ago when I started getting into this research uh, in more depth is we have all these public policy debates, um, but we don't always have kind of the, the, the precise data you'd want to inform those debates. And uh, th this is the ownership stuff is, is sort of just an, an obvious example. So going back in the 1994 survey, uh, that Cook and Ludwig did, you know, they, they did drill down on a lot of questions of types of guns owned, you know, do you, uh, pistols, revolvers, shotguns, rifles. Um, my recollection is I don't believe they asked about uh, sort of AR-15, AK style uh, platforms in particular, uh, but this is certainly relevant today. So you get this question, you know, are, are AR-15 style rifles, these sort of exotic, uh, you know, rare things used by just a handful of gun nuts or are they, you know, the most common actually rifle in America that's, that's selling today? Are, are they are they widely owned? Are they widely used? For what purposes are they owned and used? And that was something I tried to get at in this survey. So, you know, I asked a series of questions about about ownership, about use, about reasons people own them, and um, the uh, uh, you know sort of top line results here is that uh, you know these are very widely owned. So, on the, in the AR uh, AK platform style rifle. Uh, about 30% of gun owners, uh, and this is something like almost 25 million people, indicate that they've owned these firearms. Uh, that's a huge. That's a huge number. You know, one out of three gun owners uh, have owned, uh, you know, what commonly you know derided as assault weapons. Um, and and the reasons they own these are are you know things that might not surprise you. The, the, the most common reason is for recreational target shooting. Um, and second most common reason, uh, following you know almost statistically insignificant, statistically indistinguishable, is home defense. Um, and uh, you know people people are using you know they're they're owning these guns, using these guns for for a variety of you know lawful purposes, and that that shows up in a big way in this survey. The other thing that's interesting is um, you know there was a narrative out there sometimes that it's it's just a a handful of people that own a bunch of these. Um, right. But but we're seeing now the I mean it's the common, common yeah here. yeah the average you know owner owns one or two of these uh, something like ninety six percent of people own less than ten uh, who indicate ownership of these so you know the, these are it's not just there's a lot of them out there but they're they're owned fairly widely and this is also true when you break it down by by ethnic demographics so um, you know about a, a third of gun owners white gun owners own AR fifteen AK style uh, guns. Uh, about 34% of African Americans uh, own these own these rifles. About 30% of Asians, Asian gun owners, own these rifles, um, and about 38% of Hispanic gun owners own these sorts of rifles. So, uh, and also male and female. It's about 36% of males uh, gun owners, but about 21% of female gun owners. So, they they really are you know widely used across all demographics, widely owned across all demographics, uh, and that shows up in, in a very clear way in this survey. Uh, and similar sorts of findings for for magazines. So, um, you know, some debate in some states about the capacity of magazines, and we're we're seeing that you know, particularly with uh, you know the popularity of of AR AK styled rifles, as well as just how uh, pistols have progressed over the last few decades, that um, you know about half of gun owners uh, own magazines that hold more than ten rounds. Uh, this is extremely common. Uh, similarly, it's demographically, uh, you know, very well distributed across all different groups. And um, it's uh, you might think, you know, the, the magazine uh, as a complement of, of modern firearms 
you know, the standard magazines that, uh, that are used in firearms are often the ones that hold more than 10 rounds. So, uh, so this, this, this shows up as well uh, in, in the survey responses. It's not just concentrated in a few small groups, but it's a, a very wide pattern that you see ownership of these sorts of magazines. Yeah, and I think this is another area where your survey kind of uh, lends credence to some other reports that have, have uh, pre come out in recent years. Uh, for instance, National Shooting Sports Foundation, again, uh, released a report just earlier this year that showed there were there have been two, uh, 24.4 million uh, what they call modern sporting rifles. Yeah. Effectively, that means AR-15s and AK-47s. Um, you know, in circul in civilian circulation since 1990. Uh, now that's that data is based on uh, actual you know uh, production records. Right. So how many have actually been made and imported and sold in the United States? So it's a little more solid than than I would say the dealer survey is not the dealer survey. Obviously, the dealer survey is still a useful uh, tool and clearly uh, is backed up by what you uh, found in this um, in this. Um, direct survey, but but you know, it's another instance where you know what we're what we've been hearing um, from the industry uh, is in line with what gun owners are saying themselves when asked about whether they own these guns. Because, uh, like you said, that the number breaks down to something like uh, you know above twenty million people report owning these guns. Although that does give perhaps even more insight, because as you said, as the survey found. Only most people own one or two of these uh, kinds of firearms, and that does that math works out, right? If there's yeah. 20 million people who own them, and 24.4 million of them out, you know, in public hands since 1990, well, that works out to not seven per person, right? Yeah, and I should mention too that <clears throat> we asked this question um, in a fairly broad way. So we we, we used this, you know, we said you know AR fifteen style platforms, AK platforms, and, and other uh, guns that might be you know so called assault weapons and that sort of thing. So we, we tried mm -hmm. to capture sort of anything that would be in you know publicly recognized as falling in these sorts of categories. So I you know I, there's many other guns that would probably show up there. You know, mini fourteens. Sure. FALs. Uh, if you think back to like the M130 carbine, there's something like six million of those produced uh, near the end of the Second War, uh, Second World War, and those are you know many of those in civilian hands. So the you know the the AK AR15 platforms, you know, there's production numbers just since 1990 in that 25 million range, uh, but there's probably a, a number of other chunks of similarly styled semi-automatic rifles that yeah. you know might you know another 10, 20, you know million of those sorts of things out there as well. Uh, so the, the numbers do all line up, like in terms of, you know, historical production numbers from the last century and general you know, ownership uh, reports today and numbers owned. Um, but you do get a sense of just sort of how, how popular these are, how, how widely owned and used they are uh, that shows up in this survey.